Hello everyone, Kovas Stat here for another Kovas Monday. Uh, originally we were going to do the Oregon Trail challenge that I made. However, we haven't had time to edit it and put, put it up. We do have it recorded and everything, but we just, with exams and everything, we just haven't had time for that. So instead I'm going to uh, play a game of Binding of Isaac. Um, which we have played before on our channel, and I just figured, you know, I've been getting really into it as of late. Um, I've beat Mom ten times on this game, and have spent 45 hours as of um, right now playing the game. So, yeah, let's get started. Start. I have unlocked all of the characters. However, I do like playing as Maggie because she is a total tank. Uh, an H. I need a lot of HP because I'm terrible at this game. Oh, Curse of the Labyrinth. What that does is that actually makes the um this floor a giant floor and takes out the next floor. And bombs apparently open up doors, which is cool. Um, these guys actually run away from you because they don't want to die or something, and then they drop bombs to try to kill you anyways. Seems legit. And these red fires actually shoot blood uh, tears at you, so if you're not careful, they can kill you. Like that. However, I did not die. Alright, going up. These things spawn um, spiders. Like that. And like that. And those blue rocks down there, um, this one right above me, if you put a bomb there, it will um, actually explode into something useful, usually. I.e. this key. Um, my space item up there, if I press space, as you can see, it healed me of one heart. Um, that's her special item. And I usually need it because I do stupid things like that. And I have a pill. Let's use it. Balls of steel. She's got balls of steel. She. Female. Balls of steel. And as you can see, this this one is um pink. It's the same as the um white uh, balls of silk that I killed, but they're like champions, quote unquote, uh, and they drop good stuff. Or in this case, bad gas. These guys charge after you. They're kind of actually really creepy. And you, if you shoot off their heads, you have to kill their bodies later. Which is a pain because they don't really do anything. They just dodge your bullets. And as you can see, this golden key, it's actually like a skeleton key type thing. And it will... Um, I will use that instead of using my other keys for this floor. Um, that skull door is a boss room, meaning if I go in there, then I'll have to face the boss for the level. I can exit afterwards, but I'm not ready to fight the boss because I haven't got the items off this floor. Um, since this is an extra large dungeon, um, there will be two bosses right in a row, and there will be two separate item things on item rooms in this, uh, in this level. Um, as you can see, there's a blue rock right here, but I can't explode it because I don't have any bombs right now. Ah, okay, so I have a bomb now. I can go explode this rock. Oh, check that out. I can actually open that with the uh, golden key because it is on this floor. All right, as you can see, this door is locked. It's a treasure room. I go in there and I'm going to pick up the wafer which apparently gives me damage resistance. You actually unlock the wafer when you beat Mom for the seventh time? Seventh or eighth? Um, which I have, so... Oh, hey, more pills. One of these is gonna be a telepill, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Bombs are keys. And telepills, like I said. Uh, this is a mini-boss. This actually isn't a final boss of the level. And this is Sloth. Um, all the mini bosses are named after the seven deadly sins, named in the Bible. So 
that's a fun fact. And they usually are... They're not hard to beat, they're just a nuisance, usually. Once in a while, they'll get you, though. Like, when I fight Greed, I always die, because I'm never good at fighting Greed, for some reason. Uh, Lust is usually pretty easy to beat, because Lust just follows you around and ch chases after you. Alright, there we go. And kill this maggot thing. And get a key for it, okay. Q is Justice. And that drops good stuff. Which I'll take. Don't mind that. Don't mind me, just taking my treasure. And this game is very uh, roguelike-ish, if you guys remember me playing uh, Dwarf Fortress on my own channel. This is kind of like a new generation of roguelike games. It features high random ability, and um, I mean, it's got good graphics, but it's also got kind of like the tile set feel to it. So, um, and you're going down in the dungeon much like the original Rogue. So even though it's not technically a roguelike game, it still has the uh, classic feel of one, which I guess is why I like it so much. And they're bombs, cool. Bomb heads. Um, as you can see, that one, that door up top there is locked. That's actually a store. And um, he is selling a key, a bomb, and a slot, a portable slot machine. Um, however, I do not have enough money for the portable slot machine, so I think I'll settle with the bomb. And in fact, I can get the key too which I will do. Okay, I'm looking for the last treasure room before I go face the uh, boss. Bosses, rather, because there are two of them in this thing. Which is going to be in the last room that I check, obviously. That's how it works. The next two rooms that I check. And there is another blue rock right here. So, explode that. And it gives me two soul hearts. Soul hearts are like the heart containers that I have right now, except I can't heal them, and they, um... Once they disappear, they disappear. They're, they're not permanent health. Unlike the heart containers that deplenish once I get hit. Um, however, soul hearts are very useful um, later in the game when you don't have a lot of health. You can rely heavily on them. And this is Mom's Bra. Um, I'm not picking that up because it's one an item and I already have my yum heart. And two, um, when I use it, it looks incredibly nasty and I don't want to put you all through that. Seriously, you see her, you see your mom wearing this bra and she's like really like nasty, warty, like dirty looking. Just no. You guys do not want to see that. I'm doing you all a favor. Watch, now, now everybody's gonna go, like, look it up online or something. You guys are disgusting. You're disgusting. Okay, so I'm heading to the boss right now. And it is Famine. He's one of the four horsemen from the Bible as well. Um, this game is very, um, Christian lore. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna call it lore, I don't know. But it has, like, stuff from the Bible around, like, Catholicism, um, more than Protestantism. Stuff like wafers and miters and things like that. Because Protestants really don't have, like, symbolism such as, like, Catholics do. Because Protestants don't have as much history or as many traditions as Catholics. Or as many saints, or, in fact, I don't even think Protestants have saints. Um, anyways, famine, there's famine, war, pestilence, um, the headless horseman, and death. So technically there's another one, the head, headless horseman, you know, he wasn't really a horseman from the Bible, whatever. Cube of meat, if you get four cubes of meat, you actually, um, get a meat boy who will charge around attacking enemies for you for no apparent reason. And then there's Grady Jr., okay. Grady Jr. is just a regular boss. He's not really anything from the Bible that I know of. In fact, I know he's not anything from the Bible. Some kind of blob of flesh or something. There's Grady Jr., then there's Grady Sr., who, um... 
Greedy Senior is, he doesn't move. He just uh, spawns random things to try to kill you and fires uh, blood at you at the same time. And he's an HP tank. So, Gertie Jr. is actually a whole lot more mobile than Gertie is. Alright, um... And he's messing the floor. I feel sorry for the guy who has to uh, clean up after him. Alright, the Magic 8 Ball gives me tears up and it gives me a card, which is the sun. What the sun does, um... It actually, um... Reveals the whole map to me. Just like that. And as you can see on the top left hand corner of my screen, there is a map there. And there is a secret room there, but I have to get to a different place to get to the secret room. Um, and usually what's in the secret room is usually like either an item or um, usually coins. And there's a bean right there. The bean, which I think gives you bad gas. It sure does. Which is kind of ironic. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm clearing out poo right now, because there's usually coins and poo. And going in here, because I want to see what's in that um, secret room. And there's a champion um, maggot right here. He'll probably drop a heart or something. Nope, he dropped a coin. And there's a chest blocked in by um, rocks, which I can easily move out of the way. Or I could have a troll bomb do that for me. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so I'm gonna open up the secret room. And there's actually an item in here, and it's actually a useful item. Spider bite, what it does is when I shoot, uh, when I shoot, um, tears now, there's a chance that it'll slow my enemies down. If I could... Oh, right there, that guy turned white. Which slowed him down, which also slows his, um... Fire rate down, I believe. It's, or his bullets, I don't know which. Alright. Moving on. Um, I know Anry was playing this game, he got, like uber god status on it or whatever, meaning he unlocked everything and beat everything and did everything and he's been everywhere and like Johnny Cash. Henry equals Johnny Cash. Henry is Southern, so I mean, I guess that could, uh, whatever. Apparently it's Henry, but I've always known it as Henry, so I'm sorry. Sorry, Henry. 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 You're cool, dude. You're cool. Okay, so here's the boss room. And this is actually Chad. Chad was actually featured in um, Super Meat Boy as the boss to the hospital. Um, the more you hit Chad, the, the smaller he actually becomes and the quicker he actually becomes. So, um, it's, it becomes harder and harder to outrun him while he charges after you. However, I have the slowing effect which um, helps me out. And he also spawns in um, different uh, bugs and whatnot. Um, Ch and Super Meat Boy with, with Chad, I was actually playing Super Meat Boy, and I was raging so hard at Chad because I was on the last jump one time, and I died. And Star was laughing at me for raging that hard, because she's mean. As you can see, Chad's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and getting quicker and quicker. Which just sounds wrong, but it's actually not. Um, and when he dies, he usually drops uh, Little Chad. As opposed to Hanging Chads, which was a problem in Florida for the uh, George Bush election. The, the original George Bush election. Okay, so what he did, what he dropped was Little Chad. And what Little Chad does is every fourth room that I clear, I get um, hearts from him. I get half a heart from him. This game is incredibly warped, just saying, because um, there are things like um, 
poison guys like these firing poison barf bag things at you. I don't even know what to call them. And other things like mom's bra that I'm sure that you all just looked up or looked up right after you stopped watching the last episode because you guys are sick. I got a dime. I don't even fell up. Wait, that was a nickel. It's a girl nickel. Okay, so I have to dodge all of these guys. Ow. Which I'm doing a terrible job of, apparently. And there is a treasure room right there. Which will be nice as long as I actually get a useful item. There are other uh, items in this game, like growth hormones and things like that, which I'm not really sure where a little kid would get such items. I mean, this is the basement, and I don't know about your guys' basement, but my basement sure doesn't have these monsters in it. My dad, however, did lie to me when I was a little kid, saying that there was a world in the basement. I checked. There wasn't. But I believed him for the longest time. Of course, he also said that he was going to sell me to the, um, dog family. They look, they, they look like humans because they have dog heads. And the sad part is I actually believed him. Of course, and I was a little back then, so... My dad was mean to me. I was, I was abused, except not really. Until he was not abused. I actually had a lot of fun with my dad. Playing games and stuff. And now have to fight Peep. Peep is sick because he urinates everywhere. I thought I originally thought it was like some kind of bar or something, but Star's like, nope, it's urine. It's like, oh, that's nice. Like that. He just urinated all over the place. And his eyes pop out. Wait for it. Or maybe he won't pop out his eyes. Maybe, yep, yep, there we go. His eyes pop out. It's better than uh, the bloat, which is Peep's uh, stronger form, who fires, um... He fires, like, these blood beams out of his eye sockets. It's really nasty, actually. He's really hard to beat. Peep himself is actually pretty hard to beat, because you have to dodge the eyes and dodge his urine at the same time. Both eyes. Both eyes pop out. I failed to mention that, I'm sorry. And he keeps hopping like that. Makes it very and his eyes keep getting in the way. Makes it very hard to hit him. However, I must succeed for this episode. Cause it gets even nastier later. Ow. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die, I'm still gonna die. I'm still gonna die, I'm still gonna die. Oh! Ah, I lived. Oh. As you can hear, hear stars in the background raging that I actually lived. I thought I was going to die. Anyways, um, moving down to the next floor, the depths. It's it really sick down here. Wait till you see like the vagina worm monsters. Um, these guys apparently jump and try to kill me like that, which they're succeeding to do right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ow. Ow. Die. I'm dying. I'm gonna die. Maybe. Come on. Hop on over here. Hop on over. Here. Let's go. Let's go. No balls. No head either. Yeah, no head. Oh yeah, the magnet that I picked up draws home items towards me. Which is bad when I have like troll bombs like that spawning. Yep, I'm dead. I'm totally dead. I'm totally dead because these guys are really hard to kill. Especially when they corner me like this. I'm so dead. 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 Maybe. This is also another champion. Oh, hey, look at that. Hearts. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. Ow! I think I just hopped out of nowhere. Come on, come on. 
Ow, okay, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die now. Yep, I'm dead. Well, that sucks. Um, so I will catch you all later, I suppose. Alright, um, bye.